You know, in the history of Billboard's Hot 100 chart, only two records have charted, then fallen off, then come back to the chart to hit number one. And both records did it with the help of television shows, General Hospital and Family Ties. Details coming up. Casey's Coast to Coast. I'm Casey Kasem, counting them down on American Top 40. Now, let's check out something that's happened only twice in chart history. A record coming onto the chart, not hitting number one and falling off, then coming back onto the chart a second time and hitting number one. The only two records in history that have done this came back with the help of television shows. First, there's the record that was rescued by the hit comedy show Family Ties. When the record originally charted in 1981, it only hit number 79, then disappeared. But last season, the producers of Family Ties used the song on their show, and boom, the record was back in business. And just a few weeks ago, as you well know, At This Moment by Billy Vera and the Beaters hit number one. Now, only one other record has hit the chart, dropped off, then come back to hit number one. A record that was brought back to life by General Hospital. On its first chart run in 1982, this record peaked at number 73. Then, just a few months later, General Hospital started using it as a love theme. And in early 1983, the song Baby Come to Me by Patty Austin and James Ingram charted again at hit number one. So those are the only two records in history that have hit twice, not doing too well the first time, but hitting number one the second time. At This Moment by Billy Fair and the Beaters and Baby Come to Me by Patty Austin and James Ingram. The hits from coast to coast. Casey's biggest hit. Ten years ago this week, one of the biggest hits in the USA was a song that flopped its first time around, then came back as a number one hit thanks to the TV sitcom Family Ties. This song was first recorded back in 1981 by Billy Vera and the Beaters. It was released as a single, and it just barely grazed the charts. And that seemed to be that. Then, five years later, the producers of the hit Michael J. Fox sitcom called Family Ties began using the song as mood music for romantic moments. Fans asked radio stations to play it. It was re-released. And it didn't just become a hit. It became a number one smash on both the pop and the adult contemporary charts. Ten years ago this week, that song was one of the biggest hits in the USA. Here's Billy Vera and the Beaters with At This Moment. What did you think? From 10 years ago, Billy Vera and the Beaters with At This Moment. I'm Casey Kasem. Casey's Countdown. 